When you enroll users in courses and organizations, you set their roles. Let's take a look. Each user in a course or organization is assigned a role. Roles control access to content and tools within courses and organizations. For example, the instructor role is assigned to the person developing, teaching, or facilitating the course. This role has full access in the course by default, whereas the grader role is limited to the grading workflows. A grader can assist an instructor in the creation, management, delivery, and grading of items such as tests and discussions. Organizations are similar to courses. Groups that might use organizations include academic departments, study groups, and extracurricular activities. From this point on, the workflow for courses applies to organizations also. On the Course and Organization Roles page, you can view the default roles and any custom roles your institution has created. Each user has one role per course. For example, you can assign a user the role of student in one course and the role of teaching assistant in another course. When you enroll users in courses, you set their roles. You can also change their roles after enrollment. Note that in a course, only the student role appears in the gradebook or grade center. On the courses page, open a courses menu and select enrollments. Open a user's menu, select edit, and make a selection from the role menu. Instructors may use these roles to delegate some of the responsibility for course maintenance. For example, the grader role can grade student work but can't add new content to a course. You can also edit the properties and privileges associated with existing course and organization roles. To edit a role's properties, open a role's menu and select Edit. Select the properties and capabilities for the role and submit. You can make organization roles available separately. Then, your institution can treat courses and the relationship among their enrolled users differently than those in organizations. For example, your institution may not allow instructors to enroll users because you enroll users in another way. However, you might allow organization leaders to enroll users. To edit a role's privileges, select Privileges in the Roles menu. On the Manage Privileges page, you can permit or restrict privileges. These privileges are available for all custom course roles and for standard course roles except student and guest. Use the search function to find a specific privilege rather than scroll through the long list. With these privileges, users can have more granular permissions that align closely with what they're expected to do in Blackboard Learn. This flexibility helps separate course design privileges from teaching privileges. Select the checkboxes for the privileges and then select Permit or Restrict in the Privileges menu. You can also copy most standard course roles to create custom roles. To copy a role, select Copy in the Roles menu and provide the role name. When you copy, you create an exact duplicate of the existing role with all the same privileges. You can edit the copy to change the privileges. Whenever you make a change, you can do a simple test to see if the role matches your expectations. First, create a user and assign a role to that user. Then log in as that user and verify that the user's access to areas and tools matches what you expected.